So you're trying to change the name of this playlist here that's showing up on your homepage and it looks kind of boring because all it says is uploads. Uploads. Hello, it's Arit here from Esatino Media and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a playlist with your recent uploads and not have it just say uploads, but have it say something more exciting. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Roland from Getting It Done North of Seven, who brought this to our attention and actually came up with this pretty cool hack himself. So let me show you how to do this. Head over to where it says playlists on the left hand side here. And then what we're going to do is create a new playlist. And this is going to be your recent uploads playlist. So you can title it whatever you want. I'm going to put Esatino Media Recent Uploads. And let's do start here and then a downwards pointing arrow emoji way cooler than just uploads right so we're gonna go with that I'm gonna hit create and then you will see the playlist that you just created at the very top here if you don't see it just hit refresh sometimes YouTube's a little weird uh, hit refresh and you should see it up here what we're gonna do now is you can either do this for future videos that you release on the channel or you can go back into your past videos and add them to this playlist so each time you release a new video, you're going to do this. I'll show you with a, a few of our previous videos. So you're going to go into, let's say, one in this video. If you're doing this for past videos and you want to add some of your past videos that you released on the channel in your recent uploads playlist, then click on one of your videos from the content section. And then you're going to find where it says playlists right here. So this is already in four playlists, but I'm also going to add it in to the Esatino Media recent uploads playlist, right? Hit done, hit save. And I'm going to do this with a bunch of other videos. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like once you see the playlist on the channel. Okay, so I've added just three videos to that playlist. You can go through your list of videos and do more. And remember, when you release a new video, when you've uploaded it, make sure to select to add that new video to the new playlist as well. So you're going to do that for every single video and then come back to customization. We're going to add section, add a single playlist, and then right here you'll see the Esatino Media recent uploads. If you don't see yours for whatever reason, you can type the playlist name up here, but this is the one right there, so I'm going to select that, and it's always going to put it at the very bottom, so you just need to click and drag it all the way up to the very top, like so and we're going to get rid of this uploads one now so i'm going to hit those three buttons remove section right this is the default playlist that just says uploads and has a very boring title so let's delete that hit publish and we're going to view the channel and see what it looks like and there you go look at that so this looks way better Esatino media recent uploads start here and you're going to have a list of all of your videos it looks way cooler. You can even also add a playlist description as well. So go back into the playlist, hit edit playlist, add a description there and add some keywords in there too, right? So add your name again in this playlist. These are all the recent Esatino Media videos where you can learn about video editing, YouTube, marketing. So add those keyword playlists along with your own channel name. It's gonna be good for SEO. It looks great as well, so people see it right away at the very top. And hit like on this video if you found it helpful. Please do tell YouTube that this is good content so more people can see it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.